I'm Tabitha and today I'm with Xiaoyuan and Brandon. That's right, and we are going to show Brandon the different opportunities that the NUS Chemistry Department has to offer. Mm. Sounds great. Shall we go? Mm, let's go that way. So this is where we have our lectures. Let's go listen in. Sure. So lab modules are one of the major components in the chemistry curriculum and today we're going to be running an experiment that uses column chromatography to separate yellow beta carotene from green chlorophyll extracted from guilan leaves. Sounds cool. So as you can see, the extract has separated into two different colour bands. So we have the yellow beta carotene that I'm about to collect and the green chlorophyll has stayed at the top of the column. The chlorophyll that we extracted can then be processed to form useful products like health supplements. So NUS has places like this where you can study. So how do you find NUS so far? It's pretty interesting. And that's not a lab experiment. It's really cool. I have made an appointment with the head of the department and yeah, it's about time that I need to go and meet him. Then I will see you later. Yes, see you later. Bye! Bye. Hi, I'm Brendan, and I would like to find out more about the NUS Chemistry Department. Sure, certainly. Welcome to Chemistry Department. Please take a seat. May I know what's the heritage of the NUS Chemistry Department? The Department of Chemistry at NUS has a history of more than 80 years, stretching back in 1929 with the official opening of Raffles College for the teaching of arts and science. Today, we place seven in the QS World University ranking by subject. Our staff of a high caliber excelling in research and teaching. They originate and are educated in various parts of the world, and hence they are able to provide holistic education. Why do you choose NUS Chemistry? Chemistry is a central science to which other disciplines are linked. Actually, I also like its central location. So, what will I be studying in my first year then? The first year is all about building a good base in the different fields of chemistry, moving towards a specialization in the senior years. Typically, students read five modules per semester. So in the first semester, students will be studying inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, and mathematics, and another two other modules of your choice. And in the second semester, students will be studying organic chemistry, lab, and biochemistry, and another two modules of your choice. Oh, here comes Prof Chua. Hi. Hi, Prof Chua. So this is Brandon, and he's interested in joining NUS Chemistry. Okay. Do you think you can tell him a bit about the specializations that we have? Sure, the course is structured to be brought in the first two years with core modules in inorganic, organic, and physical and analytical chemistry. In the third and fourth year, the students choose module to read based on their own interests and able to specialize in one of the three areas, medicinal chemistry, environmental and energy, or material chemistry. Practical hands-on training is another focus throughout the course. A third of the modules are solely practical modules. This specialization and practical training prepare the student well either for entry into the workforce or for future graduate studies. All oh, right, I am thinking of doing graduate studies. Why don't we speak to Prof Young about that? That's a good idea. So thank you so much for your time, Prof Chua. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Research excellence is judged by peer-reviewed publications in high-impact factor journals. There are vast opportunities, even for undergraduates. For example, undergraduate research opportunities in science and final year projects programs are very similar in that they aim to put students into active laboratories. For our graduate studies program, we have over 200 PhD students in a vast range of chemical disciplines. The reason why I came to Singapore is that the research culture here is, is very active, competitive. And of course, these students at NUS are very passionate about chemistry and very driven to accomplish results. Great, let's go check out a couple of research labs and see what we can find out about graduate studies. Well, okay. Great, let's go. Why do you choose to do your graduate studies in NUS? I actually know Professor Young from my previous undergraduate degree in Edinburgh in Scotland. 
and he offered me the opportunity to come here. So do you think you could tell us a bit about what you do on a daily basis? I'm working on making catalysts for the purpose of small molecule activation. A small molecules being hydrogen or carbon dioxide with the broad perspective of clean and renewable energy sources. Of course, right here in NUS, it is not only about books. We do have many experiential learning opportunities as well. For example, we have the Student Exchange Program where selected students will get to select a university of their choice and spend one semester overseas. Here are some of our friends who are currently on this program. My name is Zaki, currently a student doing my exchange program in the University of Hong Kong based in Hong Kong Island. One reason on why you should go for student exchange program is because it will be able to affirm your own true identity. The time spent away from home will give you the time and space to understand yourself a bit more. Hi, we are on SCP in the University of Copenhagen in Denmark. So the most important event students should go on SAP is because you can explore different countries and you can experience the different cultures. Yeah, I agree. Actually, there's nothing comparable to living in the country for five or six months. Like different from actually traveling to a country, you actually get to experience it firsthand for a period of time. So we really enjoy ourselves. Yeah. I'm actually at the University of Pittsburgh in USA. And the most important reason why students should go for SEP is because you learn to appreciate Singapore so much more. We have an excellent transport network, education system, and affordable food. Even after traveling across so many US cities, I still feel that there is no place like home. Chemistry department also has a European immersion program that allows you to visit universities and industry partners in certain European countries. And what's really cool is that this gives you real-life exposure to business opportunities in Europe that are related to the chemical industry. On campus, there's also the Chemical Sciences Society which organizes many fun activities for their students. For example, they have the Freshman Orientation Camp, Year 1 events, science fairs, and graduation night. While we're here, we can also take up internship opportunities at chemical companies. After graduating from NUS, I did a one-year program at the National Institute of Education, NIE, where I obtained my postgraduate diploma in education, following which I got posted here to ACJC, where I'm a teacher. I chose to enter teaching because I found that I have a natural flair with being able to break down information and actually uh, impart it to others. And also especially enjoy working with the students and seeing the spark in their eyes whenever they're able to grasp a new concept. Uh, normally I would go to the lab itself and I'll plan out the experiment of the day. Like for instance, like the procedures and what am I going to do for the rest of the day. Then I will do my experiment itself and I'll get my final samples. So before I leave, I will be able to run it on the instrument itself for analysis. And the next day, I will be able to collect this data and then do further analysis. The first three years of NUS chemistry course is uh, really to build up a solid foundation. It equipped me with um, necessary knowledge and analytical skill set to be a chemist. So for my honors year, I work on collaboration project with Solvay and I get to apply what I have learned to solve an industrial problem. First thing, the curriculum actually offers a lot of breadth and a lot of depth. It allows me to explore into the depth of knowledge of my field of study, which is chemistry. At the same time, the curriculum allows me the flexibility to study other subjects that I would not be able to know about, such as psychology or business. So this depth actually allows me to expand my horizons. So what do you think? NUS Chemistry is pretty cool, right? Hope to see you here!